Someone <laughs> wise said to me today, you know, there's not so much we can do. It will just work itself out. Well, uh, obviously it's going to work itself yeah, out. I know, but it's, you know, they, but I they think pointed to the, can, uh, we can, you know, the Mexican crisis and said, well, it wasn't, you know, when those guys got together from the Clinton administration to try to fix it, they did something. But in the end, uh, no. they couldn't point, hmm, I'm wrong. Well, I know something about Mexican crisis. I know you do. I know crisis. you do. So help me. <laughs> we had a, we had a Mexican crisis in 1982, a Latin right. American crisis, right. and I assure you, no, it was it not the Clinton not, administration. That was a, did not work itself out. Okay, by but that's itself. a different one. I'm talking about the one in the Clinton administration. Well, it wasn't the Clinton administration. They poured or were prepared to put, put okay. 30 or 40 billion dollars in that thing, and that provided a kind of bridge to confidence, and we worked out of that. Mexico worked out of it fairly easily. They would not have if you hadn't had tens mm -hmm. of billions right. of dollars available. Anybody that thinks we worked. But did it work it? itself out when you expected it to, or did some all of a sudden you 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 do everything you can, you use everything you can, you pour everything in that you have, you use every option you have. Is exactly what's happened so far. Yeah, well, and then, and, 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 but it won't be some magic day while this happens and this happens. Eventually, these things will somehow coalesce. Well, and you'll have well, that's part of the recovery. Turnaround. Sure, that's part of the recovery process. I, I mean, Mexico was fairly simple. I wasn't there, but I, relying on memory, that was a matter of uh, Mexico suddenly in a crisis. They couldn't deal with it. There was speculation against the currency. A lot of money was made available to them to support their currency. As that became visible and operative, it stabilized. Now, they went through a big recession. But the recovery was pretty quick, uh, but that's you know that's, that was fairly simple, straightforward. Stock market went down big time today, as you know, as I said at the top of this program. Um, why is it something about America and the, this great American experiment that makes you confident that we will come out okay? I mean, is it just that we somehow will make this happen rather than any specific thing? Well, I, I think we need the specific tools and we need the leadership to use them that we were discussing earlier. Yeah. We will get out of it. The basic economy, uh, interestingly enough, has until recently been quite strong. Uh, we've discovered that we're more competitive than we thought they were in, right. in a lot of manufacturing industry. Right. Uh, we are still innovative. We're still the leaders in high tech. Uh, I hope we remain that way. And what we need, what we need is fewer financial engineers and more uh, electrical engineers and chemical engineers and civil engineers to take care of our infrastructure. We poured too much of our talent into false castles in, uh, in the financial world. Well, that's going to change, I, I think. It's not all gonna, those people coming out of business schools in America, uh, not all of a sudden going to want to go to Wall the, Street. They're gonna... The magnetism of Wall Street is going to be reduced, obviously. And I think that's not a bad thing, frankly, that we'll get this talent in other areas of the economy. Okay. That, that's needed. another interesting question. People have said to me, you know, there are some good things about this. Now, if you're hurting and, and you're, the country's in crisis, you find, you, you look for sort of silver lining. What's good about this that, well, that one, of the things one you just good, suggested might be? One of the good things is we're going to come out of it with a better financial system. We're going yeah. through agony right now, but in the end of the game, I don't think we're going to rebuild this Potemkin village that we had uh, before, I think we're going to be reminded of the import. Well, look, uh, part of the underlying problem has been the Americans began consuming too much. Your savings disappeared. We went for years consuming more, investing more than we were producing, reflected in a big external deficit. I think one of the con needed results of this crisis will be. We're going to restore some savings. Uh, consumption will be reduced, not in, in actual terms, but reduced relative to the growth of the economy, which is a good thing. Uh, not so ple yeah. <laughs> pleasant in one yeah. way, but we're going to not be so dependent upon foreign capital. And that's a good thing. We don't, we don't want to undermine our future by heavy dependence on borrowing from China and Saudi Arabia and Dubai and, and the UAE. I don't mention Iran or Iraq, no. but, 
or Russia, uh, indirectly. Russia is a big petroleum exporter. You know, you know. It, 